Hello, and welcome to CRPS Contender, my complex regional pain syndrome education channel. Today's video is an introduction to a new series I'm going to be putting out called Philosophical Perspectives, When CRPS Shatters Your Worldview. A lot of the videos I've been putting out, especially recently, have been very oriented around the physiological aspects of what happens in the body when you have CRPS. And that is super important and definitely needs to be addressed. But that is not the only thing that happens when you have CRPS. It also can destroy your psychological orientation in the world and break down the mental constructs that you have created over your lifetime to orient you in society and around your sense of self. CRPS can deconstruct all of that, leaving you with internal frameworks that are damaged or just completely shattered and ruined beyond repair, leaving them unable to support you or the crushing weight of your pain or your dysfunction, leaving us feeling worthless and purposeless and filled with rage or despair. So where do you go from there? What happens? You may be suicidal. You may be lashing out at the people around you, even those who love you immensely and are trying to do right by you, and you just can't contain yourself because of the pathways in the limbic system that CRPS utilizes, and you just don't know what to do, even though you're trying your best. That's a really hard thing to learn to come to terms with and to get managed and under control. And even when you do get that into a more tolerable range to live with, that doesn't fix the problem that you now have CRPS, especially for people with chronic cases. This is something you're now dealing with for the rest of your life. So what do you do with all of these broken frameworks that you can't use anymore? that are now worthless to you because they're not fulfilling their purpose. What are you going to replace them with? Because you have to replace them with something. Otherwise, your psyche is going to crush in on itself. So what do you do? This is where philosophy comes into play. Philosophy is the investigation of the meaning of life, the reasoned pursuit of fundamental truths, and the study of principled conduct. It helps us deal with questions of value, and extract what is essential. It allows us to understand our identities, the human condition, and morality. So in this series, which I'm hoping I'm going to be putting a video out on this at least once every other month, the function of this series is to explore various philosophical perspectives in an introductory kind of way. It's not going to be super deep, so that people can get a feel for other kinds of options to replace the broken internal frameworks that CRPS has damaged, to rebuild their worldview, to give people a launching point so that they can grow mentally and socially in ways that align with their new chronic pain perspective of their self, of others, and of the universe. And also to allow people to have a broader understanding of the various outlooks and viewpoints on having a moral life. Now, what is not the function of this series? This is not me trying to moralize at you to think a certain way. This is not me trying to coerce you to hold certain moral standards or to pressure you to do something you aren't ready or willing to do. This is also me not giving in-depth analyses of philosophical topics. These are going to be short introductory videos only. Hopefully there'll be a launching point, as I said, so that you can do further research independently. If you find one of these introductory videos that really speaks to you, you're like, oh, I want to learn more about that. I hope you do so. I hope you can find one that speaks to you and that you go learn more about it, hopefully with someone who is a professional or who has that particular philosophical perspective as their special interest, and you can go learn more about that. I really hope that happens. But that's not going to be the purpose of this series. What are some of the philosophical perspectives I'm going to do introductory videos on? Radical acceptance, hedonism, cynicism, stoicism, skepticism or dualism, existentialism, absurdism, moral relativism, idealism, zen non-dualism, nihilism, realism, humanism, pragmatism, and naturalism. If you would like to see other topics 
that you want to see explored, please leave a comment. I will, especially on this video, be checking those, so let me know. Okay, I think that covers everything. Like I said, I'm hopefully going to be doing one of these at least every other month. Gonna try and keep them in the 5 to 15 minute range, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, I think I got everything I wanted to say out of the way there. Very short introductory video for this new Philosophical Perspectives series. Thanks so much for sticking with me, and I hope to see you in the next one.